GNOME and KDE are kind of like the big poster desktops of the Linux desktop, but they're not the only ones that exist. And providing this environment where you can celebrate the work that other people are doing as well, that just would never have the ability... Like, as much as XSC might be a good project, they're just not going to have the ability to run any sort of reasonable size conference. It's a fairly small desktop at this point, let alone, you know, smaller up and, com uh, up -and coming projects uh, or even just older projects that are just relatively small, like your budgies and things like that. Giving them the ability to also be represented in this, this celebration of Linux is a really cool thing. And this, I think, provides a lot more... You, you, talk, you talked earlier about how Guadec and Academy kind of suffer from the fact that you don't really get users attending them. It's mainly just the developers go there to talk about developer things and meet up and discuss issues once a year and, you know, work on the community building on that side. But the users aren't... I'm sure some attend, but it's, it's mainly developers. And building this thing where there is more than just GNOME and KDE and they're in the same location that provides some reason for users to actually want to attend, to want to see what's going on in this this ecosystem. And I don't know, I, I, I just generally think it creates a much stronger incentive for people to want to get involved, whether it's on the volunteer side or just generally going to the event when there's there's more the event provides. Yeah, I want to. I was smiling because I was uh, remembering something that uh, actually I think it was was it Martin at Quadric who proposed a, a name for the company. It was I, I was thinking the same thing. I was giggling <laughs> because he's like, we saw a moment where his eyes were like a spark, and he's like, oh my god, I have an idea. I give you a name, and it's like we should call it, for example, the year. Right? You put the year 2025, 2026, 2027. So 2026. Uh, year of the Linux desktop conference. And then it's 2027 <laughs> and, and 2028. And it was like, oh my God, this is genius and hilarious. Might not happen, but very funny. I wouldn't, I, <laughs> I know the name. What, what, so what's the, the current working name that we're going with? We kept Linux up summit for mm -hmm. uh, uh, two main reasons. Uh, it's an already known conference, mm -hmm. maybe not as known as the other two, but it's an already known conference, both from attendees and sponsors, mm -hmm. and has already a good uh, um, um, marketing, let me say, a good uh, branding uh, from the website to the YouTube channel is kind of ready to keep it up with this upgrade. Uh, while um, using a new or even resuming um, desktop summit, um, it's like starting from scratch. Mm -hmm. so, I think desktop summit um, also it. If it was Linux desktop summit, I could see it. Just desktop summit kind of just it feels a bit too generic for people to what really whatever. Know. Are you selling um, furniture in here? Right, or no? right. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Mm, nowadays. Uh, it's not known. So to start at least with the sharing the idea, we mm -hmm. used something known, something where the two main foundations we are talking to are already working together mm -hmm. because it's already a shared conference. So we used it as a base point. Mm -hmm. We don't pretend it to be the Linux Up Summit. We don't pretend it to be in this way. It's a base point. From here, we can discuss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And right. people can discuss easily knowing what it is. Because if you look for Linux Up Summit, you will find a lot of information. You will find an updated website. You will find content on YouTube. You will find everything. But if you look for the Linux Desktop Summit, what are you going to find? Something from 2013, maybe? So uh, was not working. Right, right. So would the idea here be to, I guess, those other summits are just not, the other events are just not going to happen. Everything would just be this singular event. So everyone would work together on this core event rather than doing their own separate ones. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. But they will have... Uh... 
there will be different ways mm -hmm. and and this is a technical implementation so perhaps we don't need to discuss it too much but sure, sure. the core message is that it shouldn't be seen as a compromise mm -hmm. where basically people mind already think oh if it's a compromise i need to give up something right otherwise we don't call it this word it doesn't have to be because you find a venue i mean these venues especially the university that we were in brescia they're big they're huge do how much space do you want like uh, they give you the space that you need mm -hmm. so if the idea is accepted but we want to maintain our identity because xyz and we have a lot of stuff that is let's say the gnome track uh, it's not particularly my the preference but again we are here to collaborate. If they say, yes, let's do it, but we want the KDE track mm -hmm. in the KDE room and the GNOME track in the GNOME room, but every, of course it is the same venue and everyone is uh, will, you know, open to join any talk. Mm -hmm. Sure, hopefully it evolves because as many projects join, we, we don't want 40 tracks. Right. Like, uh, for them it becomes a little bit crazy to manage and i said but, that we'd like to see a, a mixed track so not this kind of separation not yeah. to remove the identity but really but to the, mix the communities right but the idea for example that could be a good um acceptable instead of calling it a track which Im implies you're kind of a, almost a collocated event ish kind of thing it could be a topic mm -hmm. right and then we can put uh timetables and rooms in a way that makes sense for the success of the event mm -hmm. right M one person might come only for one day we should try to make sure that if they come for one day we are not forcing them to come for two days because half of the talks are today and a half of tomorrow in a certain you know let's say foundational linux uh, more related to this but it could be a topic, a tag in in the timetable to say, hey, this is mostly GTK, this right, is mostly QT, right. yeah. this is mostly, right? And if it's a KDE talk, it's very likely that anyone else who is doing, I don't know, LXQT, for example, comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Or if it's a, it's a GNOME thing, it's most likely that it's about GTK related. Therefore, it can be interesting for uh xfc cinema budgie etc so if we tag things instead of siloing them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we but... maintain the identity at the same time we open the door and say hey right we, we want why to. 